was um, very analytical. Very, you know, I I had my job managing people at a nonprofit, and and I I was a thinker and a you know I was everything was very logical and very rational and. Um, I had grown up with the you know, law of attraction and teachings of Seth and Abraham Hicks and the whole thing, but I had not, um, I had not found a way to really live that way in a really clear um, feeling sort of space. I was very much in my head all the time, and I think there was a lot of I had a lot of. Um, preconceived ideas, both my own preconceived ideas and what I believed other people believed of me about what I should be doing and how I should be behaving and um, what I needed to be, but more what I needed to be doing. That was, you know, I didn't have the being part quite down. Um, The biggest thing that I've learned from you and from the horses has been um, how to look inside for answers. I, I was very practiced at looking outside for answers and I felt like, you know, I'm really good at researching and, you know, getting all the different pieces of information. Not that I don't think that that part is important, but I had left out this huge piece, which was me and all, you know, like what my own wisdom. And I always felt like um, everybody else had the answers and if I could just talk to enough people or um, you know read enough books or whatever you know thing it was that I would find the answers and it wasn't until I came here that it was like oh (laughs) I have those answers and it really shifted everything for me so that was the biggest piece and I think that's kind of the the foundation for all of the the rest of the the experiences and the growth and the learning that I have found here. And then the other part of it is how to be with other people from that place of knowing who I am, which is um, a really different way. You know, we're not taught how to do that usually in our lives. We're, you know, we're taught that other people need to be different so that we can feel good and, and other people need to say the right things or behave the right way or whatever it is so that we can feel okay or we can feel loved or we can be the best daughter or wife or cousin or best friend or whatever it is. And um, so knowing that I can be truly who I am and, and stay and still have, well not even still have, but create these relationships that I never realized you could really have. I, I didn't understand connection until I came here and went through these processes and and um, learned how to connect from who I am all the time or you know I probably don't get there a hundred percent of the time but way more than I used to my initial entry into the Barbara Alexander world of opponent Ridge was with Reiki and um, that shifted things pretty dramatically for me because it was like um, all of a sudden I, I had a sense of who I was as a spiritual being and I had all of these things uh, around what it meant to be spiritual and um, and so I that that really taught me how to be in my body and stand in my power in a really different kind of a way um, and then to go, you know, I, right away I was like, I want to do all the Reiki I can do, and I wanted to just be here all the time. And then the more I was here, the more I realized um, it's not about what's here, um, it's about what's here. <laughs> you can facilitate, and that's what you do so beautifully, and what, what um, that artistry was so, so important for me to see. Um, and I would watch how you modeled how to be clear and how to be um, authentic <laughs> and I mean that was a word that I, I, I had heard and I hadn't had an idea about what that meant but it was like really authentically creating a community and I would see how the people that came here were drawn here for all of these different reasons but everybody was having these incredibly powerful experiences um, 
and that you are able to really seamlessly and gracefully guide people through these um, really intense life experiences sometimes, you know. And I don't mean to say that in, in like, a, you know, that it's like intense and you get into all this, you know. Um, but intense in the, in, in the sense that, you know, everybody's coming here and having these awakenings at whatever layer of the spiral they're on, you know. Um, and so for me, having, having that model of, of guiding without ordering and directing, and, um, but the way you guided the yes to a place that could feel good for you both, um, and where you could still have your horses, you know, your herd be in a safe place. I, I, I mean, it just blew me away. And I was like, I need to learn how to do that. Um, so I've been fortunate to go through the first year of the mentorship program and then to go on to the graduate level of the mentorship program this year, which has, I mean, it's changed my whole life. I'm in a totally different place than I was. My relationships are all glowy, sparkly, wonderful um, things and I I am really clear about who I am and what I'm here to do and be right now <laughs> and that I don't have to know who the end product me is going to be you give to the world like we need to hear all of these beautiful voices you know um, we can do so much with with that kind of alignment, so, yeah. <laughs>